do that every day. Disgusting. Oh, so I just bumped into the woman that lives in that apartment that had the moth up there. She didn't even notice it. How could you not notice something like that? Unless she's noticed it, she just ignores it, but... So hello, how are you today? Um, okay, so X-Men First Class. I thought it was fantastic. It looped all the way back around to like the original movies, which I was expecting, but they did it in a really cool way. Overall, I'd say four out of five. I thought it was pretty cool how they looped um, back to how they all got their names and um, how everything happened, like how Charles and Xavier um, got into the wheelchair and how the school became it, what it was and someone even makes a cameo in it which I won't ruin that for you but um I don't know I felt like it was missing some things I can't exactly put my finger on what it was but something was definitely missing it wasn't it didn't feel like a true X-Men movie but we'll see how it does in the box office okay so I forgot to mention this morning I wake up and the back of my calf muscle hurts I don't know <laughs> Damn biking. I think I'm gonna take a rest on the biking for today and then continue for the rest of the week. I think we're also gonna be going bike riding. So me and Danny are gonna be going bike riding this weekend. So hopefully we'll be able to bike there and other places so you'll see a lot more stuff, so. So my main plan for today is to finally crack open those boxes and get all my clothes out and try to figure out a place to put them. <sighs> that's gonna be a task. But yeah, that's my main plan for today. I need my clothes. It smells like hardcore lemon cleaner. Okay, so I promised I would put this in. So, Kicks Rules 1, thank you so much for pointing this out. Basically, what happened the strap on my helmet snapped, so I couldn't wear it. So, that's exactly why I couldn't um, wear the helmet. But I had a scene in it initially. Yes. Um, I had a scene in it initially that explained the helmet issue, but I cut it out. But if you can, definitely check out Kate's Rules, because you definitely do rule. <laughs> I'm online right now, and it's one of those things, I found an article online, and it's like one of those things where I got my blood boiling. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the caption for it. Really? Yes, sir. Really? If they pass this gay marriage bill, um, you know, and you know, the, the, I guess you could say my peace is in God's sovereignty. Um, you know, but what I know will happen if this does come forth is this will be um, the beginning of our country sliding toward, um, you know, it's a strong word, but anarchy. What a douche. Okay, I had to come into my bathroom because I have to rant about this. This guy, football player, whatever, I don't care. He goes on to say, you know, oh, you know, two men can't teach a little girl to be a woman. All this crap. Let's get to the facts. Danny brought up a really good point on this. He writes, okay, so it says, with the divorce rate, over 50%, how many kids come from broken homes, and especially with African Americans, that 67% come from single parent homes. And then on top of that, most of them are moms, single moms, and they teach their children to be, you know, men and women every single day. You're a douche. After the day, money so right now I'm taking advantage and going through all of my stuff, like throwing out things from high school, and I found like my Pokemon cards. Oh lord, I have a bunch. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I like Pokemon. This is from 2000. Hot mess. This stuff is crazy. I found all of my awards and look at that. Shows you how long ago I love SpongeBob. It's a rooted past. And then on top of that, I found something from middle school. What grade is this? Fifth and sixth grade. Oh, this is a mess. This is a hot ass mess. And there I am. Oh, God. 
Oh Lord, more hot mess photos. My mom and me. Me laying on a bed. And this was pretty cool. I used to play this game all the time on my Nintendo. Gosh, this is so old. I'm keeping it. Good times. Look at that epicness. Oh boy, look what I found here. My Zelda walkthrough. This thing is epic. Wow. My name is Maxi. Cool beans. Whew. A few hours later, after much going through stuff and putting things away, I am now on my way to Wall Street. We're going to be going to a photo shoot. So you'll get to see him doing a photo shoot for the first time, which is pretty cool. Yeah, he's a really, really good photographer. Um, he's been taking her photos for a really long time, his friend Ashley. And um, she also has a vlog too. We all have vlogs, it's good. <laughs> and here we are. Wall Street. Now I gotta go this way. So he works this way, and then pick him up, and then we get picked up with my car. The big buildings. I think this is your first time here with me, Wall Street. I've been here plenty of times. There is known for lots of business and uh, tall, tall buildings. So while we wait, I'll show you a little bit around. I always get a, a kick out of that. It's on his butt. <laughs> Yes, the architecture is pretty cool. If you look around at the right spots, you'll find some really cool architecture. But, um... And if you continue walking this way, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but there's like this bull statue there. Alright, so if you look across the street right here, this pack of people, that's where the bull is. And that is the bull. Usually tracks a lot of people. And if you continue down that way, you'll get to the Staten Island Ferry. Interesting, huh? And right ahead of the bowl is this. This Bowling Green Park. Look at that. That is so pretty. Huh. Oh, New York. I love you. And here goes the hoe. Hi ho. How you doing? Better now that I'm with you, bitch. Mm, good answer. <laughs> so you know where you're gonna be doing your photo shoot? Nope. She says she's by World Trade, so she should be here soon. Hey! <laughs> oh, there cool. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> So they're going to be doing the photo shoot here in front of this pretty cool ball. It's like a, pretty, I don't know if this is an apartment building or some kind of complex where they do events, but it's interesting. We're right near the water, the water's down that way. Look at the sass behind the scenes. Sassy. Look at those sassy shoes. You know, I'm a little upset that I match with this door right now. Never ends. Um, That's not before. Oh, yeah. It's the end of the video, boo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Ooh, you got a bubble. Can you help me? Yeah, never.